We are live and in person. Not in person. We're in person through the. Yeah, that, I don't yeah. wouldn't use that phrase. We're not okay. in person. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Alter Ego Comics Weekly Live Sale. 8421. Let's see. Uh, hey, hey, everyone. I knew that Welcome was going to be the Alter Ego. We got a lot of new stuff in. You got a lot of new stuff in. Stuff in, like stovetop stuff yeah. in. How do I turn the sound on? It's not going to let me share it. It's just going to play the video. How long have we been doing this? You think we'd have it's this figured out? It's doing it again like it did before. I used it's doing it much. again like it did before. Angie's going to throw her phone on the floor. I yeah. <laughs> but it does happen a lot. I drop it. Thank goodness for Pop Socket. If you're digging my sweet rhymes, yeah, like I'll, be, I'll be performing at Live at the Lab. Live uh, at the Lab is not paying you any money. All right, let's check out some scary comments, I'm sure. Mark says, I'm a poet and don't know it. <clears throat> Thank you, Tony, for picking up your stack O stuff. Is it a big stack? Yes. There's a couple other people who have big stacks. <laughs> We're not going to name them because they haven't picked up their stuff. No. But I can see, I don't think any of these folks are, are them. So welcome, everyone. hope everyone's doing great. Great to see Jess with us tonight. She had uh, surgery this morning and oh. is with us. Hopefully, that's okay that I say that. I think she told everybody last she week. She did. She announced it. Maybe she didn't. She may have just told me. Um, I felt like it was announced to me. Hopefully, this is a forgivable offense. And we're just oh. happy to have you back, Jess, and that you're doing all right. Uh, hey, Nick. Nick uh, Baxter was in earlier today hanging out with us in Purple Feet Wine Boutique, sipping on some wine after he picked up his comics. So that was pretty cool. Hello, uh, Boop Wap on YouTube. <laughs> Not sure who you are, but if you'd like us to identify you by name or something other than Boop Wap, please let us know. Reminder, if you want to buy what we've got, you got to put sold and then the name of the book. Yes. So the uh, method that we're using, first off, we're going to go through this week's new releases, and there are a ton of them. And yeah. then we're going to get to some sets of Star Wars back issues. Um, so if there's something that you want to buy, type sold, followed by the name of the item. When we get to the Star Wars books, please be specific. Use the subtitle of the series SW or you could then, you could do sold sw you don't even need to because literally every, well, there's one set that's not star wars tonight the other set that i yes yes on. sold alter ego comics how much you got nick yep he's gonna buy us out <laughs> i literally was just thinking about selling the star <laughs> nick can read my mind he's a telepath when were you thinking not just, just i was thinking about how many years we have to, you know, oh my goodness, pay off the loans that we took out to pay for the renovations. And I was like, do I want to be doing this when I'm 70? I don't know. We'll see. Then. We'll see. Actually, I was thinking how busy I'm going to be tomorrow. That You're I'm going to be really busy. Yeah, that I, I'm going out. I, I'm going to a service club luncheon Ooh. tomorrow to talk about what we've got going on here at the legacy arts building and about free comic book day and about the street party. So I have these things that are taking me out of the shop and uh, sometimes that is difficult, but I enjoy getting out in the community, talking about comics, talking about entrepreneurship, talking about what we've got going on downtown. So 
looking forward to it. Okay, the Google form is pinned. If you are new, please fill that out before tomorrow morning so I know whether we're shipping books to you or whether you're picking them up here in the shop. Anything else you need to add? Mm -hmm. I think we did it. Um, we will go by whoever's first when we get to those. Yeah, and just a reminder, uh, we go by whoever's comment shows up in our stream. We're using a software called StreamYard. Sometimes uh, your comment may show up first in your feed on Facebook, but we go by what we've got on our screen. It's the only way we can do it. Okay, so if you are ready, give me a thumbs up or a heart, I will accept either one. Give us a thumbs up or a heart if you are ready. Remember, you got a minute to later. Yeah, it's not a full minute. Oh, I see it on my screen now. <clears throat> Do you? Mm -hmm. Do you know? See, I don't see the... It's because I'm watching it live. No, I know, but in StreamYard, I don't see thumbs up or hearts. So. Okie doke. I don't really see him online either. Let's get ready to shop for comics. Okay. First up this week. The Joker. Uh, so we have two Joker books back to back. So um, let, use the name of the title, uh, Beyond Joker, uh, if you want it. First one is Joker, A Puzzle Box. This is a miniseries written by Matt Rosenberg involving a ton of Batman's Rogues Gallery, The Joker, The Riddler, The Penguin, Bane, Killer Croc, Harley Quinn. Uh, and uh, a lot of the issue involves Commissioner Gordon interviewing The Joker. So Joker Puzzle Box, issue number one is $5. This is a very interesting cover. It's got a kind of a glossy look to it. I'm just saying it? with like, it's oh, like he's Cyclops, but he's shooting puzzle pieces out of his mouth. His yeah. ruby quartz teeth joker a puzzle box written by matt rosenberg artwork by jesus marino okay, five dollars for coming. issue number one joker. <clears throat> puzzle box. wait did he say so oh he did yeah i am taking care of his next up is my pick of the week it is the suicide squad get joker issue number one this is a black label mini series written by Brian Azzarello, who you may know from things like 100 Bullets or Batman Damned, artwork by Alex Maleev, who did the artwork on the Alias, a.k.a. Jessica Jones series by Brian Michael Bendis. This is $7. It is in the oversized black label format, uh, ages 17 and up. Why is this my pick of the week? Well, first off, it's Brian Azzarello. Number two, Alex Maleev. Number three... Amanda Waller assembles a new Suicide Squad to go after the Joker. And who's leading this squad, you may ask? Jason Todd, a.k.a. the Red Hood, someone who's been killed by the Joker. And this is just everything you want in a Suicide Squad story, in a, in a Red Hood, and a Jason Todd story. Uh, it's firmly set within the DC Universe in this world in this series the joker does did kill jason todd when he was robin uh we have some familiar faces like firefly and toy man and some other folks silver banshee and the ending man oh man it's got a really great ending so this is super super good we will do that okay i've got jess micah chad uh is Tony for that one too? Because I was confused. He didn't use the word suicide. Squad. He may have. Yeah. He might have said get. Joker. He did say get Joker. So we got Tony. Okay. Yes, Tony, Jess, Micah, Chad. Jonathan Hanover. Jonathan wants puzzle box, not get Joker. Okay. And he wants to subscribe to that. I know we'll get to that. John Jernigan wants Suicide Squad. Okay. Got it. Mark Salvaggio wants a Suicide Squad. Is everybody picking it because of the, it's your pick or because of probably, writing it? Probably a little bit of everything. Okay. It's just, it's really, really good. Okay. So, so John, Box. John Hanover wants to subscribe to Puzzle Box. Uh, Nick, there is not a Black Label Nightwing series at this time. 
So Black Label is kind of the adult imprint in the DC universe. Suicide Squad is a mini series, Mark. I'm not sure how many issues. Uh, it's going to be at least three. There's another question. Micah also wants to know if it's a one shot. Let me see if I can find out real quick. Um, it says book one. If it was a one shot. When I know it's not a one shot. I just don't know how many issues are in the series. Okay, let's see if I can find it. Okay, I need to know who three else. Three issue miniseries. It is a three issue miniseries. So who else is subscribing besides Chad Long? Uh, John Jernigan wants to subscribe. Jonathan Hanover would like a copy. Okay, I think I put one in. No, you put Puzzle Box in. Okay, I did both now. Tony Turner is a joker. Because I'm a joker. both, right? Me? Me yeah. what? Uh, Does he want both jokers? Tony did want both. You already got that covered. Subscribe for Mark. All right, next time I'm separating the jokers. <laughs> this is getting complicated. Mark Salvaggio wants to subscribe. We got you covered, Mark. Tony, I don't know what's going on. My Tony wants to subscribe. That's what it is. That's what I thought. To both get Joker and, and you may be, maybe you are subscribed. I don't know. Although you were in today, so would have been in your file if you picked up. Okay. okay. How are Ooh. we doing? Hallelujah. Man, Thank working you. up sweat. Can't take the pressure. Okay. Under pressure. Deadpool, Black, White, and Blood, issue number one. So this continues the successful anthology uh, trend that we're seeing at DC and Marvel and now Dynamite, where you get some great creators to come in and tell short Deadpool stories. Artists are only using the colors Black, White, and Blood. And in this book, we get a Tom Taylor Deadpool story. This is $5, by the way. And this is either a four or five issue miniseries. Um, Tom Taylor, Ed Brisson, and James Stokoe are the artists. Uh, I'm sorry, writers. Stokoe also does art. Phil Noto is in here. Wiles Portacio. Uh, what else? Who else is in here? Yeah. Deadpool, Black, White, and Blood, issue number one. $5 for... One, two, three Deadpool short stories written and drawn by some of the best in the biz. This one really caught me by surprise, but many of you actually subscribed before it came out. And it is Elvira meets Vincent Price, issue number one. This is a $4 comic. And I really enjoyed it. Now, part of it may be that uh, I'm always big on nostalgia, and this is definitely playing into that. Uh, but also, I just watched the, ho the House on Haunted Hill uh, over the summer. <laughs> well, actually, I watched the Rift Tracks version of the House of on Haunted Hill. Haunted Hill. Well, I feel like it was kind of contem a contemporary story of like. It is a contemporary story, but that's what I liked about the it. the way that Vincent Price is introduced to uh, the comic is Elvira is watching the house on Haunted Hill and he is a ghost, but he's able to kind of pass through the screen and interact with her. So this is, let me be clear, the ghost of Vincent Price teaming up with Elvira to solve a mystery. Tony read it and enjoyed it. So it was very, very good. Well, yeah. one very. I said it was good though. I didn't use any varies. I just oh, you liked it, it too? Good. I did. I, I liked that. And what was your initial comment about this? I said, something about the low cutness of her outfit. I'm like, holy moly. But maybe I probably really use other things. <laughs> but I'm on live. It's, so. it's entertaining. And if you want to kind of recapture that Universal Monsters 1950s feel, uh, this book does it in spades. So you should check it out. We have a two-issue miniseries from the world of Mike Mignola, the Gollum Walks Among Us. No, this is not Gollum from Lord of the Rings. This is the mud monster that is kind of summoned by those of the Jewish faith, I believe. Um, 
Yeah, it's it's it typical was. Mignola verse stuff. So if you like uh, Mignola verse stuff, Hellboy, any of the other, but one shots and two shots and three shots that have come out in the last year, the Gollum Walks Cement Among Us is a two issue miniseries for four dollars. I don't know how I feel about Rob Zombie rebooting the Munsters, Chad, but uh, I'm always willing to give most things the benefit of the doubt. Scott Manon. <laughs> so all of a sudden my Irish Siri is talking to me. <laughs> so sold uh, to Scott Manon, the Gollum, and, and he wants to subscribe. Okay. Because it is his precious. I have one copy of this next one. It is Invader Zim, the Dookie Loop Horror. It is $5. It is a one shot. Invader Zim, the Dookie Loop Horror for $5. It does. Oh my goodness. Okay. Nick Baxter, I've got you a sold for Gollum. No. Oh, yeah. So sold Gollum to Nick Baxter, sold Invader Zim to Nick Baxter. Hopefully, Nick, by this time you've polished off that bottle of wine and you're just going to be snapping up everything. So, uh, I don't have that info handy, Scott, but if we don't have it, I will try to order you a copy. Um, that's dookie. <laughs> Next up is the fourth part of the Extreme Carnage event, Lasher, or Losser, if you grew up where I did. There was a Losser High School uh, near Bloomfield Hills, street. Michigan. Yep, Losser Street. $4 for Lasher, one shot. Next up, guess what? It's the weekly series by Cullen Bunn. Cullen Bunn seems to launch a new book every week, and this week it's Lucky Devil. Uh, this is from Dark Horse Comics, and I must say, of Cullen Bunn's last four or five titles, this is the one that I've liked the most. It is about uh, kind of a down-on-his-luck. Angie liked it too. Down-on-his-luck uh, character that uh, ends up possessed by a demon, and doesn't really find it. Well, he, he doesn't find it so bad, um, but he does want to get rid of the demon. And when he does, something else happens, and that's kind of a twist. So I will say again, I enjoyed this more than most of the recent Cullen Bunn series. If you're a Cullen Bunn fan, you're totally going to want to pick it up. Uh, if you want to read kind of a, I don't want to say lighthearted, but it's definitely... Yeah, there's a lot of like gore and gross stuff in here, but it's but it starts out not that way. Yeah, and it's we both liked it. Let's yeah, put it that I liked way. It. Lucky Devil uh, is four dollars. Okay, Lasher sold for Manon, Long, and Sabota. Put all those away. Excellent. What's your next? What's next up? Oh, it's mine. Go ahead. Angie's pick of the week, ladies and gentlemen. The me you love in the dark. So it's kind of a ghost story, would you say? It is haunted a haunted house. It is a ghost story. It's a haunted house. It's and, a haunted house ghost um, story. We have a young artist and she's moving in and uh, you're just going to find out what happens. Lighthearted. If you get fun. it, you'll find out what happens. Well, you should. It's got great art. I really liked the angles. I mean, look, there she is. And like most artists, She's got a little bit of, um, not stage fright. What is it? They can't paint. Artist block? Yes. So I need to go back to this because okay. there's some other stuff that you may want to know. This is written by Scotty Young. Okay. Uh, he, of the all the, he of all the covers that uh, Jess usually wants, among other people. He does not draw this one, though. This is by his partner in crime from Middle West, Jorge Corona. So if you enjoyed Middle West, this is the same creative team, but the story is completely different. Uh, as Angie said, this is a uh, probably a 20-something artist looking for inspiration, rents an old creepy house, hoping to kind of be inspired there, and she may or may not be alone in that house. Uh, really solid. I've actually had a chance to read number two already. 
Aww. I read it digitally because they sent me a preview copy. Well, I should read your digital stuff. Yes. But uh, Angie's pick, a contender for my pick, and a contender for Alex's pick as well, The Me You Love in the Dark, is universally loved here at Alter Ego HQ. $4 for issue number one. I mean, it's not a key house or anything. Are we still broadcast? I don't know. It's like everybody <laughs> stopped. Yeah, you're on here. I see you. Okay. Nobody likes what I like, I guess. I think a lot of people pulled it already. Okay. You bought it. Oh, oh there's Marissa. Sold. Love in the dark. And subscribe. Thank you, Marissa. I'm sure it made Angie feel better. That does make me feel like less <laughs> of a loser. <laughs> um... I see you. Does that mean he wants that? <laughs> no, he, I said, are we still oh, broadcasting? Okay. Um, what's it called? The Dark? The mean, uh, I saw you. I don't know if you commented lately, Jess, but we have been seeing most of your comments, I think. Alex's pick this week is Not All Robots by the very humorous and talented Mark Russell. Artwork by Mike Diodato Jr. This is $4, published by AWA Studios. Um, as I mentioned, this is Alex's pick. I really liked it too. I think you liked it as well. Uh, I have to look at it. So this is yeah. a society where the robots have, this is probably how Skynet happens, <laughs> where the robots the humans have. humans are kind of like the pets. Right. Well, they've created these robotic things to help them with manufacturing and with farming and with all kinds of stuff. And they eventually their... they kind of. They're like they're like the father figure, like the patriarchal, and yeah. that everybody else are the kids or the pets of the house, and it's got a you know yeah interesting twist. It's it's solid. It's good. Most things from AWA have uh, been worth reading, and this this falls into that camp. Uh, and by the end of the first issue, there may be a robot uh, rebellion going on. Not all robots. Issue number one, $4. Well, people aren't all satisfied either. No? Who knows who will rebel first? Uh, sold. Not all robots to Nick Baxter. You really did drink that other bottle of wine. We've got a new Marvel Tales out this week. It is Marvel Tales Miles Morales. So this collects five consecutive issues of Ultimate Comics Spider-Man by Brian Michael Bendis and Sarah Pacelli. $8 for Miles Morales Spider-Man, and you get a reprint of the first five issues of Ultimate Comics All-New Spider-Man by Brian Michael Bendis and Sarah Pacelli. Great way to uh, get a whole bunch of miles in one sitting. Mm-hmm. Good storyline. Are these in the other? I don't know. Because the one where he's hanging from the ceiling, that looks that looked familiar to me. He does that a lot. Sold Spider-Man to Nick Baxter. We do have more copies. We have a one-shot. Spirits of Vengeance, Spirit Rider. So from the world of Ghost Rider, we have Spirit Rider. This is written by Taboo of the Black Eyed Peas, and B. Earl, I don't know who that is, arts by Paul Davidson, and uh, Johnny Blaze is in this, so we've got the Ghost Rider, plus we have the Demon Rider, who is a Native American spirit of vengeance. This one shot is $5. If you're a fan of Ghost Rider, then I recommend it. Fill up your water bottle because I just drank the whole thing. Um, Sold to Jason Mills, Spirit Rider. Jason Mills, the Spirit Rider. Uh, and Jason, we're saying sold in front of the item now just to help us with reading comments in the feed, but we got you covered. Jason's over on YouTube watching us tonight. Thanks for that. Sold. <coughs> Excuse me. Ghost Rider to Tony Turner. I will accept Ghost Rider or Spirit Rider. Can I get any one of those? Sure. Wait, did you take this one? No, there's one on the. I'm putting that one in. One in. Gotcha. 
get a cough drop. <clears throat> he may. It was the dinner I had. I had a spicy. a spicy chicken avocado wrap from Arby's. And it was. I'm gonna have to fill up your water bottle. I had a kick. This is super cool. This is a facsimile edition. Uh, the first reprint of the classic Star Trek graphic novel in almost 30 years, Star Trek Debt of Honor by Chris Claremont, he who wrote the X-Men for many, 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 many years. Interior artwork by Adam Hughes, who almost never does interior artwork these days. Uh, $10 for this facsimile edition. I only have a couple left. I have two left, but you get to see... Adam Hughes, and this is a movie era, original series Star Trek. I mean, 96 pages. If you're a Star Trek fan, this is a must buy. I know a couple of you Star Trek fans already reserved it in advance, so thanks for that. 10 bucks for this phenomenal piece of Star Trek history written by Chris Claremont, artwork by Adam Hughes. We have a Star Wars one-shot this week, War of the Bounty Hunters for LOM or for LOM and Zuckus. $5 for this one-shot. If you're reading War of the Bounty Hunters, then you should pick this up too. Hey, Doug, thanks for joining us tonight. Better late than never. Since I drank all your water and your coffee, I thought sold uh star wars to nick baxter sold the star wars to tony turner sold star wars to scott manon next is a new series written and drawn by mirka and dolfo who you may remember from mercy among other things, this is Sweet Paprika, issue number one. This is definitely adults, Very mature. adults only for mature readers. Uh, it's about a demon uh, living in the world of demons, and she seems to be very sexually frustrated. Um, her um, dad wasn't always good to her. Like he said stuff that kind of repressed her a little bit, just a little bit. Yes. And uh, so this is about you know growing up as a repressed demon. Yeah. Yeah. And should I show that page? No, Probably you'll get not. censored. Okay. Four dollars. If you if you like Mirka Andolfo's artwork and her her uh, writing, then you'll like it. And it's four dollars and it's a demon and there's adult situations. Okay. Sold, sold Star Wars to Chad Long, sold Demon to Nick Baxter. Sold Star Wars Demon to And Demon to Tony Turner. Sold Paprika. Paprika, yeah. <laughs> Sweet paprika. She is a demon. Now we have sold paprika. All I'm thinking of is paprika from Blue's Clues. So. Uh, was that Scott Manon? Yes, it was. Sold paprika to Scott Manon. <clears throat> we get the next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles best of edition. This time it's Casey Jones. $6 for TMNT best of Casey Jones. And uh, the cover on here is by Biggie who I assume is not the Notorious B.I.G. Okay, I got Sold Paprika and the Star Trek thing to Jason Mills. Yep, Sold Paprika and Star Trek to Jason Mills. Thank you. Are we out of Star Trek? No, no we have one left. We have one Star Trek left if, you, one, if you're on the fence. Paprika no, two. No, three. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to get people... Sold Paprika to Marissa. Two copies of Paprika left. One copy of uh, Star Trek. One copy of Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. Or was it the other way? I have one copy of this left. It is Transformers King Grimlock, issue number one. This is a mini miniseries. Uh, $5 for Transformers King Grimlock, issue number one. One copy. Sold Star Trek to Jonathan Hanover and 86 Star Trek. Nick says that Grimlock is really good, and I overheard uh, Nick's Grimlock impersonation today in the shop, and that was really good as well. Sold Grimlock to Jason Mills. Which one's Grimlock? 
Transformers, right here. Okay. That's teenager. Is this the only one? That's the only one. So '86 okay. Grimlock. I don't know what this is, but I thought I'd give it a shot. It is Trover saves the universe from the co-creator of Rick and Morty. Issue number one, four dollars. Maybe you know who Trover is. Maybe you're a big fan of Rick and Morty. But Trover Saves the Universe, issue number one, is for mature readers. Uh, it's written and drawn by Tess Stone. Based on the game Trover Saves the Universe by Justin Roiland. Scott Mannon sold Trover and subscribe. So at least one person knows who Trover is. Did I miss I, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. You're not doing that? It's a number two. Holy smokes, there are a lot of trades that came out this week. Uh, I can... Let's start with this. Okay, first up. The Expanse. Graphic novel collects the four issue miniseries from Boom Studios, seventeen dollars. I think this is the next show that uh, Angie and I are going to watch together. I've watched the first three seasons by myself when I was at the gym. When I would go to the gym, yeah. um, it's kind of Babylon Five meets Firefly, and so it's a fantastic uh, series. I like both of those shows. And I believe the fifth season is on Amazon Prime right now. They're all on Amazon Prime. We need to finish whatever we're watching. You know, you know what we're watching? We're still watching The Great British Baking Show. I only have two seasons left. Two seasons plus one episode. So The Expanse to Nick Baxter. We still have Backwards. another copy if anyone else wants to enter The Expanse. And if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you checking it out. This is a beast of a book. The Last God hardcover. Written by Philip Kennedy Johnson, who just happened to be a guest on this show a little while ago. Uh, seems like months ago. It was People months are ago. Be like, when did you stop getting guests? Mark? Fifty. I know. I just. you just. Life is hard. Long. There's too much going on. Fifty dollars for this hardcover that collects the entire twelve issue series, plus it has the Last God songs of Lost Children and an exclusive expanded edition of the RPG source book, The Last God: Tales from the Book of Ages. This, if you are an RPG fan, a D&D &D fan, a Lord of the Rings fan, you will love The Last God. And it is the whole kit and caboodle. All 12 issues, plus one, plus RPG source material. Uh, yeah. No rocks. I don't know. I watched some people play the game and it looked... I don't know. The Maestro, Warren Pax, the sequel to Peter David's Maestro series uh, from last year, is now available in graphic novel form, collects the five-issue miniseries. The Maestro, Warren Pax, is $16. Operation Dragon. What is Knox? What did we miss? I don't know if it has to do with no this Nox, Nox. or with your... Is this a Rick and Morty thing? What's with the Knox? Sold Maestro to Scott Mannon. Thank you, Scott. Oh. Oh. Got it. It's hardcover. Uh, you need the one I got it. I got another one right here. Another well, hardcover. Gonna... You knock on it. Okay. Knock on this one now. Well, I was going to talk about it first. Okay. So I'm really excited to read this next one. The copy. I know nothing about it. The solicitation information sold me on it. It's called Operation Dragon. This is a World War II era story where 
Japan has trained dinosaurs to fight the allies. And the three main uh, U.S. soldiers in here are uh, a disgraced ex-cop, a mobster trying to escape his past, and an intelligence officer with mysterious motives. They're investigating a top-secret Japanese superweapon, a deadly force of trained dinosaurs. $25 for Operation Dragon, the hardcover. And let's stick it in just the one genre of science fiction. But it's definitely some fantasy. We've got some dinosaurs that are... Sold Operation Dragon to Nick Baxter. Hey, Holly. Thanks for joining us tonight. And thanks to you and Tony again for picking up all your stuff earlier today. You'll have some fun messing around with that stuff. Okay. We have one more copy of Operation Dragon left. We will move on to Shang-Chi, Earth's Mightiest Martial Artist. This is a different collection. This is collecting older material from 1991, 1997... 2010 and 2012. This is a $25 collection of Shang-Chi kind of modern era stories to get you ready for the Shang-Chi movie coming out next month. Believe it or not, September is when Shang-Chi hits the big screen. So if you want to read some Shang-Chi, it's 25 bucks. Everybody Shang-Chi tonight. That's a bad joke. That's a Mark Booker joke right there. <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> All right. We got a twofer. You know, instead of Wang Chung. For Xenoscope's Van Helsing. Van Helsing versus the League of Monsters from Xenoscope. Uh, collects the six issue smash hit comic book series. $20 for Van Helsing versus the League of Monsters. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Big bombastic fun. Among the horror comics, horror icons, bloody action, overall sleek aesthetic in Van Helsing versus the League of Monsters, we see a book that succeeds most in its emotional developments, making this a must read for any fan. 20 bucks for Van Helsing versus the League of Monsters. And we also have, now please, if you want either of these, sold and then either League of Monsters or Dracula's Daughter. So this is Van Helsing versus Dracula's Daughter collects the five issue comic book series for $20. It is super fun yet dark. It's well worth your time and money. Ben Helsing versus Dracula's daughter. The most recent Witcher miniseries is available now in graphic novel form. The Witcher fading memories collects the uh, however four issue, I believe it was miniseries. $20 for The Witcher, Fading Memories. I'm going to see how many issues this is. Mm, yep, one through four. All right, Marissa sold Van Helsing, Dracula's Daughter, and Van Helsing versus the League of Monsters. So we're out of Dracula's Daughter, but we have another copy of League of Monsters. All right, we have the Future State Wonder Woman Collected Edition. Collects Future State Immortal Wonder Woman number one and two, Future State Wonder Woman one and two, and Future State Superman Wonder Woman one and two. Twenty dollars for Future State Wonder Woman. <clears throat> I put them right here. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I thought I did. Nope. Super excited to have this back in stock uh this is battle angel battle angel alita volume one so this is a new printing it's going to be a six volume series um reprinting the beloved sci-fi manga that inspired the hit movie and whether it's a hit movie i think remains to be seen however it is a good movie i i enjoyed it uh, I need to get around to watching that with Angie and our son, Kevin. I think that at least Kevin would like it. I think Angie would like it too. Depends on my mood. So you know. uh, this has been, I think they did some hardcovers not too long ago, and those were kind of hard to find once they came out. Uh, I guess I should mention the price, $13 for Battle Angel Alita Volume 1. This is a nice-sized collection, and it's the first of six volumes that will uh, reprint the Battle Angel Alita series. 
sold Alita to John Jernigan. I do have more copies available. And uh, Gator over on YouTube said they uh, got the nose wrong in the movie and they focused too much on the eyes. Uh, I can see that. I wasn't familiar with the character prior to the movie, so it didn't really bother me. But I know the eyes were stuff that a lot of people talked about. And that was a James Cameron. Uh, was it Robert Rodriguez, too, or just James Cameron? Not sure. It was really good. So sold Alita to Scott Mannon, and he wants to sub to all six volumes. I did that. Okay, and sold to Nick Baxter. So I have one or none. I have none. So no, I got just Nick's? did Nick and okay. Scott. I have one more copy of Battle Angel Alita, Volume 1, available. Who knows when we'll be able to restock it. The latest volume of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is available. This is a hardcover. This is Part 5, The Golden Wind. $20 for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Volume 5, The Golden Wind. And then, excuse me, we have three all-ages books that are new this week. Supergirl Adventures, Girl of Steel, uh, $10. and must need some water. Supergirl Adventures, Girl of Steel, $10. Take a water break for a second. Okay. I'm just shifting things down. We also have Super Sidekicks. Ocean's Revenge. You read the first one of these, didn't you? Yeah, Super I did. It's, it's a cute story. Fun. Uh, this is $13 for Super Sidekicks, Ocean's Revenge. Yeah. And finally, we have a new little golden book, Spidey and His Amazing Friends, The Power of Three. This is $6 for this new little golden book, Spidey and His Amazing Friends. Space for that, that sells. I know I can redo the whole thing, but I just moved all those things down. Okay, we've got some new action figures and collectibles available. First up, this is a previews exclusive Funko 2 pack for San Diego Comic Con 2021, which didn't happen. Uh, limited to 30,000 pieces and probably sold out. We've got White Knight, Batman, and White Knight, the Joker, two-pack. This is $23. Sold Operation Dragon to Jason Mills. 86 Operation Dragon. Yes. I'm going to order more. Picture. Because who doesn't want to read a World War II story I with really trained dinosaurs? Yeah. We do. <clears throat> we have a new Marvel Gallery statue in this week, which is phenomenal. A John Byrne era Storm Gallery statue from the X Men. This is $50. Lighting is horrible. I don't know what happened here. I had good lighting for a second, and then it went away. Love these gallery statues. Love that Joker. Um, that's not working. That's all right. Is it better lighting? <laughs> worse lighting? That's kind of better. There we go. My so this is a nine-inch tall PVC plastic statue. Great sculpting. Have your hand there. We'll go, Ooh. That shoulder underneath. Yeah. Whoosh. That really did nothing for it. Sold Battle Angel to Michael Briggs. What's that? This one. Okay. Oh, hopefully, I can get more of that. Uh, so uh, Michael, I'm not sure. I think you're a local customer, but uh, if you have not filled out our Google form before, please look for the pinned post and fill that out before tomorrow so that I can follow up with you. Okay. And finally, uh, why is this Operation Dragon over here? That's for Jason Mills. Okay. We have three more of the Marvel Legends Retro Collection in. We have Carol Danvers in her Ms. Marvel outfit. These are three and three quarter inch figures, $15. 
Super cool. I love the retro card art. It's got like her fact file on the back. We have Magneto. $15 for Magneto. Again, three and three quarter inch figure in the retro Kenner style. And let's see, I think Angie's writing down to subscribe John to Battle Angel Alita. We got that. So that's the yep. pop. Chris sold Chris it. Shirley. We got you for the White Knight Pop two pack or Tupac. And now we have the Amazing Spider-Man, three and three quarter inch figure, Marvel Legends Retro, $15. These are super cool. Because they look like what you would have bought they when do. you were a kid. They do, yes. Do you want me to stick them up here? Sure. Because I made all that space. And Owen Rohde, if you're watching, I did pull a Spider-Man for you based on your request from several weeks ago when we got in our first batch, which includes the Hulk, Captain America, and the Human Torch. And sold Jason Mills' Spider-Man. Thank you, Jason. <clears throat> All right, we're moving on to some Star Wars back issues from the collection of 6,000 books that I'm slowly working my way through. I think this might be the end of the Star, of the Star Wars stuff, maybe. Mm -hmm. Might be another box or two. I'm looking real So most of these are, um, in fact, everything we're doing tonight are complete sets, limited to usually one set. First come, first serve. I think this is it. Star Wars Legacy War. $20 for the set of six. All of the comics are in near mint condition unless specified. And I believe that they're just all in near mint condition. This owner took immaculate care of her collection. Unlike me. <laughs> I've already ruined the first one that I brought home the last day. I set it on the counter and Kevin spilled his water all No, over. it was Connor. Connor did? Yeah, our 21 year old. Gosh. Star Wars The Last Command $20 for the set of six. Sold Legacy War to Sarah, aka Ed, perhaps. <laughs> Like last name would be good. Uh, Barnett, who does not probably have a folder. Uh, sold the last command to Chad Long. Oh my gosh, this stupid little map. I know. We're going to keep trucking along here. Star Wars Vader Dark Visions. $20 for the set of five. So uh, we have gnats. There's a okay, gnat in the kitchen. War, so I have last command. Who was first? Uh, first on last command was Chad Long. Thought okay. we said that already. No. You may have said it. Okay. And then Legacy time. War was for Ed Barnett. I put Barnett. And That's you said fine. Sarah. So I put Sarah Barnett. <laughs> Sold Vader Dark Visions to Chad Long. We have Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Dark Temple, $20 for the set of five. Okay. Star Wars Adventures Tales from Vader's Castle, $15 for the set of five. Sold Jedi Dark Temple to Nick Baxter. Sold Vader's Castle to Jason Mills. Star Wars The Clone Wars Battle Tales. $15 for the set of five. Star Wars Allegiance. This is Journey to Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, $15 for the set of four. 
Sorry. I'm going to go get that little racket. Oh, do you bring it? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. You're going to be like swatting things in the background. The apps, you're gonna love me. Star Wars Target Vader. $20 for the set of six. Sold Clone Wars to Ed Barnett. This is where I randomly throw in a non-Star Wars set. The Unstoppable Wasp, $30 for the set of 10. This is a great series, by the way. Highly recommended. I did, yeah. Sold Target Vader to Jason Mills. We have The Star Wars, The Lucas Draft, $35 for the set of nine. So this is issue zero through eight. Star Wars Rebel Heist, $15 for the set of four. Star Wars X-Wing Rogue Leader, $9 for the set of three. Is that Star Wars? Yes. Is there one of them? That's it's that one. Sold the Star Wars to Doug Derringer. Or Derringer. I'll have to find out how to pronounce that next time you're in, Doug. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire Evolution. $15 for the set of five. I didn't actually get anything, but... No. But we've got this, like, bug yes. zapper tennis racket that we're swinging around to try and... Get the gnat. That's not that. That is. That. I know. I'm reading. What's evolution? This is evolution. X wing goes to Chad Long. Oh yeah. Okay. So yes, yeah. sold Star Wars X wing to Chad Long, and that was the Rogue Squadron one. Mark, so sorry, missed that okay. one. I will stop swinging the tennis racket and get back to selling Star Wars Mara Jade, the Emperor's hand by the Emperor's hand. $18, set of six. On guard? That's Except the swinging, this. no, that's the swinging of the thing. Okay. On guard. <laughs> Got it. Star Wars Return of the Jedi Infinities. $10 for these, this four-issue miniseries, and this is kind of a what-if. Star Wars Infinity series was great. Change one event from the original trilogy and see what happens. So this is uh, Return of the Jedi. $10 for the set of four. Sold Mara Jade. Sold Mara Jade to Ed. Or Sarah. Speaking of Return of the Jedi, we get classic Star Wars, the Return of the Jedi adaptation. Two issue miniseries, eight dollars. You want to get the other cover? No, there's no other cover. I didn't know what you were doing. Star Wars: Shadows of the Empire. Twenty dollars for the set of six. Speaking of Star Wars: Infinities. We have Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back, Infinities, $10 for the set of four. Uh, sold Return of the Jedi Infinity to Doug. Is this one going and to... And Sold Return of the Jedi to Scott Manon. So this one goes to me. The other one goes to... Which one? This one? This goes to Doug. Okay. You're just going to say both names? The yeah, both ways. Sold Shadows of the Empire to Ed. Sold Empire Infinities to Mark Howell. What was the, where's that That's one? for Ed or Barnett. Sarah? Classic Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back. $8 for the set of two.
Star Wars Crimson Empire. $20 for the set of six. <clears throat> Empire for Jason Mills. Is that this one? Yes, sold uh, classic Star Wars Empire Strikes Back to Jason Mills. Uh, Nathan, both of those have already sold, unfortunately. Sold Crimson Empire to Ed Barnett. Jedi Academy, Leviathan. $65 for the set of four, and that's because issue one by itself is a $60 book. But you get the complete series for $65. Star Wars Jedi Academy. So you're being nice. Kind of. Star Wars Crimson Empire Deuce. Crimson Empire 2, $20. Set of six. Sold. <laughs> Sold what? <laughs> well, he put, but that was Crimson Empire no. before. Uh, Michael Watson, there is nothing after the word sold in your comment. I need to know. Sold Crimson Empire 2 to Ed Barnett. So we need sold and then the name of the item so that we know what you're buying. Uh, sold from two. Crimson Empire 2, which I already sold. Let's round out this thing. Star Wars Crimson Empire 3, $20, set of six. Everybody likes the Red Empire? We have Star Wars Empire's End. Five dollars, set of two. <laughs> Sold Empire, Crimson Empire three to Ed Barnett. Ed is quick on the draw. It's because he's typing sold ahead of time and just waiting. You to think see so? The title. You don't if know. I were doing it, that's how I would you do it. You don't know that? I'm telling you. Star Wars Dark Empire, thirty dollars, set of six. Where's this thing? <laughs> oh, I created a monster. Sold Empire's End to Doug Derringer. We got that Dark Empire back there. Nobody likes the Dark Star Empire. Wars Union. Ten dollars. Set of four. Looks like a Harlequin romance novel. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it really does. Star Wars Union. Sold. Bug Zapper. <laughs> you are not getting my Bug Zapper. I need it. $9 is what it costs at Meyer. <laughs> but Star Wars Union is $10 for the set of four. Yes. I'm is it staying up here? Is it staying down here? Don't get snippy with me. Don't get snippy with me, mister. Sold Union to Nick Baxter. Sold Star Wars Union to Nick Baxter. Star Wars Chewbacca. What a Wookiee. Ten dollars, set of four. Dark Empire two, twenty dollars, set of six. So this Dark Empire is going to Yes. Doug Derringer. Star Wars Dark Empire 2, $20, set of six. Sold Chewbacca to Jason Mills. Star Wars Invasion, $15, set of six. Star Wars Invasion, $15, set of six. Do 
either discouraged it or you killed it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> the gnat? Yeah. We get Star Wars Boba Fett issue one half from Wizard Magazine, complete with certificate of authenticity, $20 for Star Wars Boba Fett one half. Oh, well, Michael, the $65 Jedi Academy is still yep. here if you'd like it. Yep. We'll pull this for you, Michael. I think this is what you were talking about. Star Wars Jedi Academy Leviathan. Sold Boba Fett to Michael Watson. Okay. okay, I'm kind of jumping around a little bit so I don't have too many of the same with the same title in a row. Uh, we have Star Wars Invasion Rescues, fifteen dollars for the set of six. Nobody bought the last Invasion. Star Wars Dark Empire Two sold to Doug Derringer. Boba Fett, Bounty on Barracuda, $15. Boba Fett, Bounty on Barracuda, $15. These are singles. Those are singles. Star Wars Invasion Revelations. $15 set of five. So at least put Rev on that one. Because that's one, two, three invasions. Three invasions. Nobody wants the invasions. Well, that happens. Invasions of the Pod Not everybody's Avengers. on uh, live with us right now. I know. Boba Fett, when the fat lady swings. Five dollars. Don't you even look at me like that. I didn't. Because I was swinging. What are you talking about? You're going to give these people the wrong idea. an ugly creature. Which one? The fat lady. I'm assuming that's the fat lady. Uh, sold when the fat lady swings to Jason Mills. Boba Fett, murder most foul. Five dollars. You're not doing anything? That's all I got. These are all singles. Hmm. Are we just going to put those out at regular price? Yep. I am putting out a box and a half of uh, Star Wars issues that are cover price. So you can look for those next time you're in the shop. But that is it for our show tonight. Sold Murder Most Foul to Jason Mills. If you'd like to like to have me bring back anything that uh, we put up tonight, any new releases, any Star Wars sets, now would be the time. And as I said, I'll be putting out uh, about 200 single issues of Star Wars that will be cover price. Sorry. Angie just bought that issue. <laughs> Casey Jones is TMNT, the best of Casey Jones. Six dollars. Do you want these in? Does it matter? Uh, they can go in this box here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Michael, I've seen the uh, in my Facebook feed the Doctor Squatch Star Wars soap collection. We have to check it out. I'm always looking for a good soap. Uh, sold Casey Jones to Jason Mills.
thank you everybody for hanging out with us tonight. It was a great week for comics. Hopefully you can come in. We've got events going on for the next two weekends here. We've got the Legacy Art Street Party this Saturday from noon until nine. We'll have food trucks, drinks, live music, art vendors, uh, a Caribbean uh, culture celebration, kids activities. We're busy. All kinds of stuff. So that's this Saturday. And then next Saturday, August 14th, free comic book day. Over 30 titles to choose from. I counted them all. There were lots boxes of Boxes and boxes of sale books, dollar comics and half off graphic novels, uh, cosplayers, all that fun stuff. So that's Saturday, August 14th. This Saturday, August 7th, the Legacy Art Street Party. Come on out and hang out with us. It's going to be great. John, I thought I pulled Once in Future Volume 3 for you last week. No, it was something else last week. Uh, I am out, but I will put in a hold for you because we sold out and I've reordered already on Once in Future Volume 3. That way I'll have a copy for you when we get that restock. And Chad got the Star Wars soap, and it's great. Might have to give it a shot. Invest in some Star Wars soap. Invest in soap. some Star Wars soap. Yes. Then maybe our kids will be... Maybe if our kids our use kids the Star Wars soap, they'll be clean. They'll smell good. And she just said our kids stink. Sometimes. They are boys. They are. Uh, after Free Comic Book Day, Scott, if we still have uh, Free Comic Book Day books available, uh, I will consider that. I will consider bringing them on to the live sale. I think that's it. Thank you, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of the week. Stay safe, be kind, and be well. See you next time.